Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at from the vintage 1989 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line, PandaCon. Stay tuned, my friends. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. From Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 series toy line, we have PandaCon. All right, so PandaCon never showed up in the animated series. Uh, he was one of those characters that only showed up in the, I believe he only showed up in the cart or in the uh, comic book. I think he came from the same world as Usagi Ojimbo, but I could be wrong. But I always liked this figure. Just a really cool design. Again, I really like the Samurai uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, I just really like the, the design of all their armor. It just, it looks really amazing. Really like it. Of course, one of the first things, other than the weapons to get lost, were usually the shoulder and thigh pads. Um, they did oftentimes either break off or pop out and end up getting lost. Also, a lot of times, the, uh, the tails on the bandanas would break off as well. The paint on this guy isn't too bad. Uh, I'm not sure if that spot on his nose is from wear or if he was designed like that to make it look like a shiny nose. I can't remember. It's been a long time. I found this guy at Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois. Uh, the same place I got my Sewer Samurai Leonardo. PandaCon was always one of my favorite Ninja Turtles toys growing up, uh, and I saw him complete in a baggie with his accessories, so I went ahead and bought him. Uh, Mick over there is great. He prices things out great, fantastically. He couldn't be making more money off of them, but he just loves, loves dealing with collectors. And they're not so overpriced that regular kids can't buy them and take them home and play with them either. Um, they're actually priced pretty close to what their original price value was uh, way back in the 90s and late 80s. As you can see, very bright blue on his armor, gold chain mail, uh, green pads on the side of his armor. Then he's got the green pants with blue pads, uh, red gauntlets, and shin guards. Very nice figure. Now let's go ahead and take a look at PandaCon's weapons. First things first is his battle axe, which he can be seen on the package um, getting ready to attack Shredder with. Very nice. If you line it up just right there, the holes actually line up with his eyes, which is pretty cool. I never really noticed before. Uh, they didn't they didn't skimp on the detail either. You got wood grain on the handle. Uh, you got <clears throat> you got the blacksmith marks on the. Uh, inner part of the battle axe on both sides very nice uh, one problem with Ninja Turtles weapons is they usually warped very easily over time even just sitting in the package they warped easily up next is uh, I can't remember what exactly this is called 
Uh, I always thought it was kind of cool. It got kind of a knuckle guard there, which can be used to defend against blade attacks as well, or cut opponents with. And then you got this blade here with a hook on the end. Very nice. Again, they did not skimp on the detail. You got the cloth wrapped around the handle there. Very nice. And then here you've got the sword. Kind of generic looking. Um, I can't remember if this is the same style sword as Leonardo's or not. I think his was a little bit straighter, uh, but I could be wrong. And then you got the cloth around the handle, and you can see where it was disconnected from the uh, the little thing that they came attached to. They they usually came attached together, something kind of like this on a piece of plastic, held them together, and these fit in his hands pretty decently. Uh, let's see. There's one. Put his sword in the other hand. I'm not sure why his finger is sticking out like that. Um, I want you. I'm Apollo Creed. I want you, pump. I want you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they fit in his hand real tightly. Real nice. Even this one, it's pretty tight. Uh, not bad. Uh, I just wish he would have came with something to be able to put his sword into or one of his other weapons into since, you know, he can't hold all three at once. I hate just leaving one lying around, you know. That's how it gets lost. I think we'll go ahead and display them like that from now on. At least for a while anyway. So there you have it guys from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 Playmo Playmates Toys toy line. We have PandaCon. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.